here with uh, Gimli, of course. And behind the camera is Nick. You want to show yourself? You can. No, I, there's no way it's going to be good if I try it. Okay. It's going to be bad. It'll just be like a weird okay. angle. All yeah, right. yeah. Uh, basically, we just got done seeing Justice League, the movie. Is it just called Justice League? Yeah. Yeah, it's just called Justice <laughs> I, League. I didn't even know. See, that's how little I know. I bought the subtitle. But yeah, we saw the Justice League movie. And I'm just going to say, uh, before I went in, I didn't really have any expectations. I wasn't really excited about this one because the DC movies have been really hit or miss. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I'm still gathering my thoughts. But, you know, the thing that keeps going in my mind is I remember a time before DC was trying to catch up to Marvel when they actually were making real movies. Like Man of Steel, for the problems it had, it was a real movie. It had a plot. It had characters. It felt like a big epic film that was fleshed out. It was long, but it felt like a real movie. This one felt like one big like commercial or something. Like every piece felt like, I, I don't know. It felt really commercialized to me uh, in that sense. But that just is a thought that keeps going in my mind. As far as uh, things I liked about it, I mean, the thing that I really liked was I thought the characters individually were all done pretty well. I think the actors sold it. I think they, for the most part, looked good, except for Cyborg. I think it looked uh, yeah. It looked uh, yeah, Cyborg was so CGI, and it wasn't even good CGI. It was yeah. just... He was pretty bad. I don't know. And I really liked the character interactions. Um, yeah, all, like, all the characters were fine, except for Batman. I didn't like Batman the whole time. Yeah, ba yeah. Batman, Batman kind of felt like he was just there to bring people together. Um, uh, but other than that, I felt like their action was kind of okay. Um, and there was no plot. There, the plot was very, oh, very yeah. fun. There was, was, there was absolutely yeah. zero like, plot. It was just like, it was like, the here, there's some cubes, there's some bad guys, yeah, and, kill them, you fight them twice, yeah, you win. Right, and I mean, that's if I, it. If I had to summarize my thought on it, guys, I felt like, you know, it's no masterpiece, and I think the Marvel movies are much more fleshed out. They look better, oh, they're yeah. better acted, better written. For the most part, this one didn't feel as cohesive. But if you're going in for just a fun, dumb time, it was, it was cool. Yeah. Some quirky online. If but, you got to waste some time. It's, yeah. all, it's all right, but okay, well, Gimli, what did you think of it, man? Because I'm curious. I know you're not oh. the biggest. What, you weren't excited for this. Thank you I for coming. I was not. Okay. I, I was not excited for this. Uh, they got rid of one of my favorite characters in Justice League, at least for the film, because who wants Cyborg? I want Martian Manhunter. Thank you. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could have done such a better job on Martian Manhunter than... Cyborg. You know, yeah. Troll, Troll actually made a comment about, he's been talking about this for years, like, yeah. you know, okay, the big deal is it's easier to animate Cyborg than Martian Manhunter, but really? if that's if that's what we got. If that's what uh, you get for Cyborg, I'm yeah. scared for Manhunter then. Just think about how but ugly that still, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure, like, you could. Okay. Like, I could tell from some of the backgrounds that it was CGI, uh -huh. but even still, it's like... If they could do that, but on a person, then they'd be fine. Because it's all CGI anyway. Yeah, but yeah. you know, the weird thing I'm wondering is, I think it's one of those good arguments that sometimes, for as CGI heavy as this was, you know, good old fashioned prosthetics. Yeah. Why not get put him in a robot costume? It would look better. Because the CGI yeah. was okay, but you know what bothered me is the same thing they didn't change from the trailer. His face just looks like it's plastered on the CGI. Oh yeah, yeah, it's so, it's bad. so bad. Everything it's, is uh, terrible. That's the only thing. But I thought everyone else was pretty good. What, what else do you think? Um. I didn't really care for the plot. The plot was lame. The plot, the plot was weak. Was it's just straightforward. Here's a bad guy. Here, they want some stuff on Earth. Protect her. That was it. Yeah, I like, mean, yeah. Okay. I know we're going back to that, but the bad guy, if they could do Step that, like, his costume looked good. He looked decent for a CG. Oh, yeah, CGI person looked yeah. pretty good, like a video yeah. game character. It's yeah. But, so, so why couldn't they do that with Cyborg? Or, Make them all CGI? No, just like make his CGI look yeah. better, look more realistic, uh, like, better rendered. I don't the know. Villain maybe. looked better than Cyborg. That's yeah. true. It is true, and he was like, all CGI. I don't know. I think I think most of Cyborg's problem actually was more like his costume design more than anything else. Mm -hmm. I think like that didn't help either. Yes. I I think it was just he just overall didn't look good as opposed to just the CGI looking bad. You think the design I think both too. played yeah. bad on each other? I agree. Yeah, it was fine. I don't know. What like, do you think, Nick? What do you think about it? I don't. I think it was okay. I don't think it was actually any good at all. It was probably <laughs> just a C plus, if anything. Okay. C minus, maybe C. Oh. Solid C to C plus. Okay. Uh, Pretty I, mediocre. Yeah, yeah. There was definitely like. Well, all right. Okay. I didn't care. Like I said, I didn't care for the plot. I didn't care for like the, the characters. Batman was just 
bad. Yeah. He was clearly the worst superhero there. Uh, and it was just... All right, I have to say this. Okay, I think we all agree the plot was weak. Uh, Batman yeah. was kind of underutilized. Oh, yeah. But I have to say, uh, the, there were you could tell Joss Whedon, you know, definitely touched up the script because all those one-liners and jokes... I noticed we were all laughing at certain points that yeah. I thought we were meant to. Like and like the little scenes, I think, with the Flash where he's testing his speed out. Yeah. Where Superman can see him and Batman get it taken out in one hit. was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, you're clear. I, there were some funny parts, but oh, yeah. do you think that's them just obviously trying to be more like Marvel? Yeah, I think so. I, 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 think, I think a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I think the biggest problem with the whole movie was... So, like, it was trying to be as serious as possible about things. But then not really at all. But then you have to understand that it's a PG-13 movie. Like, there's no yeah. blood. There's no, like, drawback. Like, there's no consequences at all for what they're doing, really. I don't Did anyone major die? No one dies on camera. No one... There's no yeah. blood anywhere, except for the little bit of blood at the end with the alien when he gets stabbed. Well, and, the and it was purple. Blood. I don't think it's the rating. And green for the, the bug. Green Parademon. for the bugs. Parademon. yeah. Uh, well, I mean, that, okay, you're saying so rating is an issue, but hey, a lot of the Marvel movies, they're PG-13 and they have higher stakes. But they accept that, and they're just yeah. like, yeah, we're just a joke. They it's were just a, trying to try take this. They try to make it feel like... A superhero yeah, movie. Yeah, where it's a comic sort of. It's a comic book, and this yeah. one's kind of trying to be a comic book too, but it's also trying to be really dark and edgy. It's trying to be, a, it's trying to be an edgy comic book. It's trying to be an edgy Batman comic, and it's just not. Yeah. You can't do that in movies and, it, and still be a, like... Do you, do you guys think the parts where it was just trying to be a fun superhero movie worked pretty well, or... Uh, yeah, it was, was fine. It, it was fine. It was fine. bones. Yeah, like... Yeah. Okay, alright. Well, I, I feel like I've, I've talked on this before about the DC movies. Like, with the Marvel stuff, it's really crisp and flashy. They look good. Yeah. They're colorful. This one, I think, looked pretty good. Oh, yeah. But yeah. the backgrounds were still ugly. I still think yeah. there's this ugly tinge to the whole movie, though. But It was trying to be dark and gritty and edgy. But but it wasn't dark. It wasn't no, dark. it wasn't. I could <laughs> see stuff. I know. <laughs> it was, you could actually, I could see but stuff. But it was still ugly, still yes. gray. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah. The brightest scene at the end... Okay, even when like the dark clouds are going away, it was still kind not very okay, bright. Okay, I think the brightest part was when Lois and Clark in are the field, in the cornfield in Kansas. <laughs> in Kansas. That's, oh god, yeah. Was, yeah. And, oh, by the way, yeah, oh, spoilers. Uh, Superman comes back if you if you could. Yeah, it doesn't yes. matter. They already knew. <laughs> yeah. Like it does. Like it's just a. He doesn't do anything. He punches the villain like twice, and that's it. It's it's a. I feel like yeah, they, some of the some of the worst things like about super. They don't know how to, Man of Steel, I think, at least utilized his character well because his movie, every movie that he's a side character in, he's just there yeah. for the plot. Yeah. Like here, yeah. he felt like Superman, I guess, but he was just there to punch the bad guy yeah. and, and be super. So like, yeah, it's and like, be this unstoppable force. And that was it. And yeah. it, it felt like every bad trope about Superman was kind of there. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Aquaman was kind of cool. Aquaman was cool. Like Wonder Woman was fine. Flash yeah. was good. Yeah, Batman Aquaman. was mediocre yeah. to bad. Wonder Woman was pretty good. Yeah, Wonder Woman was good. Like, I think overall, I liked Wonder Woman the best. Character-wise, probably. Character-wise. Well, you know, yeah. and you know, yeah. point to point that out, I mean, I, I know we brought this up before. We've been talking about it for years because, you know, DC's been having this issue. Yeah. But Marvel took their time, established all the characters, then yeah. throw them in the dumb movie to have fun so they can fight together. This one, I thought they did an okay job of establishing the other characters. Yeah. But, yeah. but it still would have been better if they had their own movies. Right. No, I don't know. I don't I don't think I would have well, I don't think I would have I don't think I would have watched a Flash origin movie or an Aquaman origin movie. What about I, a cyborg or a cy, cy like I think it was fine. I think just having yeah. those one scenes to summarize their origin story and maybe if we really wanted to we go back to it or mm -hmm. bring it up later, but it's not like important to me. I'm glad that they uh, decided to do like one of Darkseid's henchmen as opposed to Darkseid for the big. Oh movie. yeah. So yeah, they can build up to it. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe if. Maybe. I, if. I mean, I think. Unless they reboot everything again. I no. I think, <laughs> I think people. I think this made enough money. They'll probably keep going. But yeah. They just feel so watered down compared to all the Marvel stuff. Like it's just the. There isn't much meat yeah. to the, these movies for as much as they're trying to. Yeah, do. I don't know. But I mean, I... they were having fun, I guess. But it just. I think the quality is definitely not on most Marvel movies right. level still. Okay, here's a question. Okay. Who was your favorite care person in the movie, though? Oh, for me, it was Flash. I thought Flash was um, funny. I thought he had good energy. Characters uh, good. I liked him the most. I don't know. That's like... Maybe Aquaman, I think, probably. <laughs> yeah. Because of his personality? Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Just... Khal Drogo was good. Yeah. 
personally, I liked the little girl. And the and the in Chernobyl or <laughs> in fake Chernobyl. Yeah. Oh, yes. because of the, the bug spray. The bug spray. I, I also liked the father. They kept cutting cutting back to that family. I know. I felt like a waste of scene. Like I don't know. I guess they're trying to establish. Well, that, trying like... to say, they're trying to give us those people so we care about what's happening there. Yeah. But they're like the only people we see. Yeah, they're yeah. the only people that live there. Like, I mean, I kept thinking they Superman were gonna... went out with that apartment, but. You never saw them. Yeah, you only identify with those people, and that's the only reason they're there, though. Yeah. I, I, otherwise, I was thinking, is this going to be a major plot point? Are they going to be people? But no, they're yeah. just there to yeah. say that people there that we care about. And, right? he, and it, like Superman says a line somewhere in the movie, he's like, well, the only people who live there are criminals anyways, or like, who have no no life. Like, no, other no, no, he I says people refugees. Who, refugees. People who've tried to find them everywhere else. It's, Maybe, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's poor immigrants yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I guess. So I don't know. They weren't, yeah, I don't think they were criminals, but... Uh, um, okay, anything uh, you guys care, hype about Legion of Doom, Lex Luthor, and credit teaser? I mean, whatever. It'll just be another <laughs> superhero movie. I, like, I don't... I mean, I'm glad. I mean, it'd be cool to see other villains, Deathstroke. Cause the th- I just, I just don't... I, I mean, I yeah. guess I'll probably see it. This didn't suck, I guess. I liked... I really kind of feel like the best thing in the movie was probably the little, um... Some of the little fun things, like the last little thing with uh, Flash and Superman, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. the whole old, you know, who's faster thing is fine. Yeah. There were some fun moments that I liked. I can't say that I was bored, but it's still messy, bare bones yeah. plot. It's like there were some times where I felt like it was dragging a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay, like, yeah. Hey, let's yeah. let's we've already seen this scene. Can we move on? Like yeah. like and there's just things that kind of plug in there just to be there. Like right. J.K. Simmons is James Gordon, but he's got two scenes yeah. where he's just oh yeah, I'm, like I'm Gordon. Like, it's cool he exists, but he, he's not really a character. It's, it's a lot of stuff yeah. like that yeah, just yeah. thrown in there because it's DC. Mm-hmm. For, like, and that's, I think, a bit and of a problem. It's Batman. Yeah, it's and Batman. So, a lot of I don't things, know, yeah. Just for the sake of fandom. But anyway, all right. I, I guess, is there anything else you want to talk about before we wrap it up? No, I, I think that's it for me. I don't yeah. Um. Like I right. said, I think overall it was a pretty weak movie. It, it was weak, um, but I can't say that it was boring for the most part. I, I liked I thought the acting was okay. Characters were decent, interacting, some good action. It was okay. I'm going to give it a C plus. I thought it was all right. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Like, C okay. plus for me. Like, okay. C plus, right on the edge of a B minus, maybe. No. There were some but funny it, moments, but it's it, I can't I can't say I had a bad time right. watching it, but it wasn't, it it wasn't, wasn't good. I can't really say it was I a good I may movie. watch it again, but... Drunk, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I don't know. I'll probably be drinking. At least it was more fun than Batman v Superman, which was just so like. Oh, I thought Batman v Superman was better than this. It had a better story, but it was also really badly paced, though. Oh yeah. So I don't know. It's it, they're pretty close, honestly. Yeah. What do you think, Nick? This C? is a solid C, I think. Solid C. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was it was all right. I mean, I guess if you're a hardcore DC fan, you're gonna see it anyway. Yeah. If you want to. I don't think it's worth the full price for it. No, I definitely just uh, wait until it comes out in Redbox yeah, or whatever. Red, Redbox, yeah. though, Red for box, sure. or, you know, ne- there's the internet. Or, or, you know, if it comes out on Netflix or something. Yeah, yeah. We... But, yeah, it was okay. I I don't know if I'm really excited. I'm more excited for Black Panther than I <laughs> Yeah, excited, uh, actually, I'm really excited for Black, and Black and Panther And I'm not now. even a Black Panther fan, really, so that says something. Yeah. You know, but I just hope we get Martian Manhunter uh, yeah. in a movie, and if we could just, like... If we could just have a, a little better story next time, and just have some daylight scenes, yeah. have some scenes in full daylight. No, no, Batman only operates at night. Okay, but but Wonder Woman doesn't. Like, no, 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 no. There was that one day scene at the bank robbery. That was cool. I yeah. want more of that. I like that. Uh, and, oh, and by the way, this is a Zack Snyder movie, so so many slow motion scenes. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, there was way too many. He, he loves doing that. We did that in Wonder Woman too, though. Yeah. But, um, still way too many. Still way too many. But uh, yeah, guys, let's wrap it up. Let us know what you thought yeah. in the comments below, and uh, I guess we'll say goodbye. Yeah. Stay magical, people. Bye. Yeah.